First of all, there's a buzzing noise that I can't get rid of. You hear that? Cool, right? Can't get rid of it. It's just gonna be there. Family 220 Sport in 1. Now, the funny thing about Family 220 Sport in 1, don't dead open inside, is that the name of this system is My Arcade. So, Go Gamer Portable, it says on the back. My Arcade, it says on the front. Again on the back, it says Dream Gear. And on the title screen, it says Family 220 Sport in 1. What the fuck is the name of this thing? You can see here we have a nice resolution of a JPEG. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? The names of these games are really good too, it's barely English. <laughs> you know what's funny? I'm actually trying to do this, but the controls are so dog shit and delayed that it's actually hard to play the game. It's hard to follow. You have to let go so early. Like, you move one space at a time and you just have to let go really early. Um, so now it's the same thing except boogers. Okay, that's just stolen straight out of Final Fantasy. Um, so you have one enemy from Dragon Quest, one enemy from Final Fantasy, Goku, and, um, Palutena from Kid Icarus. Great game, eat a dick. On fire. Which I would rather be than play these games. At least some of these games have original concepts. It may completely suck, but... I feel like the nature of reality is, like, inches away from being torn apart. Look at the screen. This game is too graphically intensive for the system to handle. Which, by the way, is the size of a Game Boy Pocket, in my best estimation. The fish are like the developers who are making these games. And the dude with the hook is like the publisher, like the business guy who creates the plug-and-play. And on the top left is the money that the plug-and-play makes at the expense of the developer fish that get eaten. Four different Bam Bams from the Flintstones. Grandchildren. <laughs> I didn't mean to invo invoke the name of the unholy, but I just, uh, I thought grandchildren was funny, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'd say that dude needs the money more than these kids. Okay, so picture doing this with a D-pad that barely functions and has no responsiveness. Like, the D-pad just feels like dog shit. Is that cat? Oh my god, how big is the money in this world? Then you gotta get George Lucas some gas before he makes another Star Wars prequel. Or sells Star Wars to Disney. We must fill up the gas immediately, but Meg Mega Man. Okay. Okay. What is this character? What is this character? You know, there's almost a hint of- WHAT THE FUCK?! IS THAT?! I'm telling you, this- this dude, this is Willie Nelson. That is one of the Elder Gods. When Willie gets too high, that's what he sees. That's definitely a stolen explosion sound effect or a stock one. I've heard that in, like, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, this is one of these games. Alright, it's like one of those Flash games. Or like the Xbox Arcade Classic, where you shoot a baby out of a vagina in the hospital, and then it, um, you know, it flies. <laughs> oh my god! Historical footage of the Titanic, colorized. No, but you know, it's just, it's all a business meeting. It's all the same dude, different suits. <laughs> Everything else is exactly the same. Someone asked a question in chat, very important question. You ready? Does anyone do Joel now? I don't know what that means. Oh. I'm a superhero, I can fly, but I can't touch a pacifier that floats. This would be better if I could shoot the UFOs. I mean the pacifiers, I mean the UFOs. Tower defense? Well, at least they tried something different. It is a tower defense game. And of course, it's clunky and awful. It's just a very slow, shitty balloons where you kill Bigfoots. Big feet? Multiple Bigfoot? Dear God. Could you imagine getting this for Christmas? I know I say that a lot. 
but you could be confused into thinking that this is a legit system. It looks decent. It lights up. It looks like a Game Boy. That's what that face sounds like in my head. Also, sorry about that. I, I hate that face so much. <laughs> it's so bad. Some generic cute bunny characters. Eating ice cream with their hands, with their with their nubs. Sorry, their nublets. It's more more cooking games. This is, by the way, in the adventure category. These are adventure games. I haven't even attempted to do this correctly. I'm I'm just pressing buttons at random. <laughs> oh no! She's so sad now. I'm only doing this because I care about this bird. Super Mario Brothers star. Just <laughs> just lifted. Unceremoniously lifted from the Super Mario Brothers franchise. That's okay. It's like, wh what would you do if some asshole stole the Super Mario Brothers 1-Up Mushroom and used it as their logo, you know? Like, what fucking goober, jerk face dick would do something like that? Wow, those are some fucking lanky animations. This is my Sundays now. Hey, Vin, how come you can't hang out with us on Sundays? W what are you busy with? Oh, nothing. Beach volleyball. I think of dead or alive beach volleyball. I think of Bob's whenever I hear beach volleyball, and this is what we get instead. We get Bobcats. Sumo. Uh, well, I'm gonna choose Zen because he's almost dead. Zen has been choking for the past 13 minutes before they took the picture. They took the picture, he died shortly after. These, um, voices for the sumo wrestlers, that's exactly what I think of when I think sumo wrestling. I think, bap, bap. Yeah, grab them. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, that was a good one, right there. That was a good scene. That's how you get banned on Twitch. You just leave that up for a little more than is comfortable. So why does the pig disappear into a vortex? It's a... Vortex. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mods ban him. What? What's happening? Whoa! What's happening? Ah! The game does that when you go too fast. What the fuck? We're going warp 10. We're going warp 10. Also, look at the number three. It's just plastered on there. It's floating. It's not actually a part of the horse's saddle. Okay, well, that's enough of that mini game. Horse.exe. That was a cursed game. Anyone who has seen that, anyone who has witnessed that, has been reprogrammed. And a ghost will appear in your room tonight. Vinny, this stream makes me sleepy. Oh, yeah, I'm already asleep. I've been, like, sleep streaming for the past half hour. Find fault. Oh, I can find plenty of faults. I don't have enough time in the world to list the amount of faults. You'd have to fucking do a thesis. Oh. Excuse me, princess. Gee. Sure is boring around here. The people that make the music for games like this, and for plug-in plays in general, I wonder what their dreams are in life. I wonder if they're content with sub-mediocrity. I'm just wondering. I'm wondering! I mean, if it's a good paycheck, it's a good paycheck, but... somehow I don't think it's a good paycheck. Okay, I like to call this Bad Tetris. <laughs> you know, those shapes are copywritten. Copyrighted. No, we didn't steal Tetris. Look, the shapes are different. The shapes are different. And just when you're going for a cool combo, it rains on you. Vinny, I can't feel my legs anymore. Oh, that's just the side effect of the buzzing noise that you're listening to. Yeah, this is this is like um like E-Bomb's world quality 
flash animation, like flash games. Like elf bowling shit. Oh, that's a Tetris- that's a Tetris shape. The entire Tetris Corporation is going to sue. The Kremlin is going to sue. Cool game. What's Eat Bean? I need to know. And it's fucking Pac-Man. Oh, but hang on. As you eat bean, you get faster. But only temporarily. You see? That's how they do it. That's how they get away with it. They have a dartboard with a number of different words on it. And they throw darts at it. They start with Pac-Man, for example, then they throw... they throw darts. This is disgusting. Yeah, good fucking pizza. Too bad. Not bad. Too bad. Too bad. What? Oh, you gotta get... you gotta get them exactly right. Shrimp pizza, but there's fucking eyes on the shrimp! And just blocks of cheese? That's not how you do pizza. You don't put the fucking entire block on there. I would know. It's in my blood. I'm gonna go for a complete pizza so that way I can see what other sinful toppings exist in this world of pizza. Wow, 77%. Oh, whole tomatoes. What's that? You wanna... you wanna move your tomato? In such a way that maybe you could line it up perfectly? Too bad. You're using a D-pad that when you press it, the thing that you did happens a half a second later. Too... Fucking bad. You're not allowed to play this game with any degree of accuracy. Just make your raw tomato and eye shrimp pizza. Guys, what is this? Is that pepperoni? Why is it pink? Is it undercooked? How do you undercook pepperoni? It's- that's not how that works. It looks like one of Mario's nipples. Maybe it's salami? But still, it's a little too pink. It's like... Bubblegum. Is that supposed to be a pepper? Pepper hoop. Yeah, can I have, um... Can I have a shrimp? Eh... Uh, can I get one tomato? Yeah, don't even cook it. Just throw the tomato on. Yeah, the whole tomato. Let me get some, uh, raw pep. Yeah, just two. Couple blocks of cheese. And, uh, yeah, let me get a pepper hoop. Um, yeah, how about this? How about just one chive? Just, like, a real big one. Just one large chive. <laughs> ah! I've- I've angered the pizza gods. I'm sorry. I predict this game is also going to tear apart. <laughs> It's fine! So, some of the games are made a little bit more shoddy than others. I'm not talking shit about the games anymore. Every time I talk shit about a game, it, it does that. Wow, this is a cool one. I like it a lot. It's really good. It's really nice. I- you get to mine for gold. That's nice. Cool game. Definitely not curse. Um, so here's, uh, Castle, and it's- it's Angry Birds. This is legitimately one of the best games I've played on this plug-and-play. I mean, it's smoother than the other games. It, it's, you know, you can't fuck up the gameplay if all you have to do is hold a button down. Here's what kills it. You have to destroy the whole castle down to the, like, the rubble. Why, why do- now I have to spend the next five stones attempting to destroy rubble. You know what? It's fucking garbage. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you- I'm gonna let you guys form your own conspiracy theories about how that's happening. Uh, so then you have, um... You have another cursed image here on the screen. One of these things in the background is not like the others, though. Have you noticed that? Pyramid. Creepy mummy. Creepy sphinx. That may or may not be alien. And then a, a bab in a baseball uniform. Alright, motherfucker, this is my world now, you know what I mean? You come to Atlantic City, you, drink, you smoke a pack of fucking Paul Mall 100, you exhaust your cigarette compartment. You know, motherfucker, you get a complimentary room at the Borgata. And then you just drink, motherfucker, you drink, you get the free Jack Daniels, so what, it tastes like water. You get a little Jack, you drink 30 of those, you gotta piss, your bladder gets full. You gotta piss out your bladder, you motherfucker. And then you gamble more and you lose all your money. Your husband's pension goes away, motherfucker. You lose your friends and your family because you're too busy gambling. Then you die in the hotel, motherfucker. You die in the hotel, but at least you smoked. 
cool game.